Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So for our Dreaming Tree event next week, we're doing all three Dreaming Tree houses and if you're joining us for the Butterfly Fairy House, we're going to show you how you bring it into Design Space and how you get it cut ready, whether you're going to cut it out in 12 by 12 pieces or using A4 cardstock. I've installed the bundle file as we're obviously doing all three houses, but if you're just doing the one, then you'll probably just want to download the one that you're doing and in this case it's the butterfly house. So I can open up the SVG folder and select SVG and there's only one folder with these. Sometimes for Dreaming Tree there's two. One will have a solid score line files and the other will be perforated cut line files. These are the perforated cuts. You can turn them into score lines, but I like to keep them as perforated cuts because I find you get a much nicer fold. I'm just going to hold down my shift key and select all of those pieces. I'm then going to copy them. Open up my pictures and paste them into my pictures. We can then go into design space, select upload, upload image, browse and we can then start bringing in each of those files. Leave the image name as it is and I always give it a tag so in this case I'll call it DT Butterfly House. And it's just so that you can easily find your images if you're uploading lots and lots. I'm then going to continue uploading each of those files. Once we've uploaded them, we can select all of the pieces and there's 17 of them and then insert to our canvas. So if we just select one of our pieces with the perforated cuts, you can in fact change them to a score if you want to but as I say I prefer to keep them as perforated cuts. We've got our roof base pieces here which are already set to A4. You won't really see them, you might see a little bit of the white peeking through but you won't see an awful lot of it. All we need to do is attach those perforated cuts and they can go to one side. We've got our two flower pieces. If you look at them closely, you'll see there's these tiny little squares in them. We don't need those. So all we're going to do is open up the contour and just remove those tiny squares. There's one on each of them. They are then ready to cut. We've got our white glitter elements. They're ready to go in A4. And you can see them there on the door, the window and around the roof. We've got our vellum pieces, they're ready to cut in A4. And you can see them along the roof and in the windows and the doors. We've got our window piece, that's ready to cut. Our butterflies, they're ready to cut. You can see our yellow window piece there. And our butterfly. We've got the body of the butterfly that's ready to cut. We've got part of our leaf that's ready to cut. And that's that darker green larger piece there. We've got our base square and part of our leaf there. So we've got our base square just peeking through at the top of the base there. And of course we've got our extra leaf pieces ready to cut in A4. This part of our roof is A4, so we don't need to do anything with it, but this part is 12 by 12. So all I'm going to do is duplicate it. With that duplicate, I'm going to take away that cut because I don't need it. I'm then going to select the base layer, open up my contour. And I'm just going to take away this top layer here. That's then set to A4. With this one, I can open up that base cut, open up my contour, and remove these pieces here, leaving that top line. And then attach that perforated cut to it. And if I want to, I can actually attach these two together 
so that they are A4 as well. And both of those sections are our roof pieces. We've then got our patterned wood grain, which will go on the front and the back panel of our house. That's ready to go in A4. We've got our base and we've got a small part of our flower. So there's our base piece and there's our flower piece in the green. They're ready to go in A4. We don't need to do anything with them. We've got the front and back panel of our house and you will see a little bit of that colour peeking through and you'll also see it there as well. So that can stay as it is. We just need to attach those perforated cuts and the same with this one. We need to attach those perforated cuts. This one, which is, needs to be the same colour as this because it's our base section is set to 12 by 12 so we're going to duplicate it the duplicate we're going to select the main cut open up our contour and we're just going to contour away these sections here so we're left with just that top line we can then close that down you'll see we've got some perforated cuts there so if we select just the perforated cuts in our layers panel we can open up our contour and we can just remove those ones at the bottom there. We can then attach those together and then this section here we're going to select that base cut, open up our contour, take away those top line pieces, close that down and then we can contour away those perforated cut lines that we don't need. We can then close that down and we can then attach those together because they are now ready for A4. And there we go, we have all of our pieces ready. We can then go and cut them and we'll be ready for the event to put everything together. If you've got any comments or questions, you can ask them below or in the group on the event post and we will help you get cut ready. We're looking forward to these events. They are going to be amazing to do all three of them. If you're joining us for all three, fantastic. If you're just joining us for one, brilliant. We look forward to seeing you all and as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you all soon. Bye.